do have Messianic Jews in Israel. It's interesting. Messianic Jews in Israel are not like Messianic Jews in America. The average Messianic Jew in Israel wants nothing to do with Judaism. He almost resembles uh, Jews for Jesus instead mm -hmm. of, you know, because Jews, Jews for Jesus is not really Messianic. They're they're basically Christians. Right. Evangelical. Um, yeah, but identifying yeah. As, as having a Jewish pedigree. That's your average Messianic Jew in Israel. And we see it with groups like One for Israel, right? Mm. The one for Israel is nothing messianic. I mean, they may speak Hebrew and, right. you know, I mean, they may be able to turn it on and off when they need it, but they're not Torah keeping individuals. They actually grew up secular and with, with a bad taste of orthodoxy in their mouth already, mm -hmm. you know, and they just came to the realization that Jesus is God and the Messiah and this and that. And yeah, but it's not like they're, they're waving flags of Israel, dancing like in a circle and stuff. That's they, they don't do that. So they're typically Israeli, you know, most Israelis who convert to Christianity don't never come from Orthodox families or religious mm -hmm. families at all. I, yeah. I think in my life, I've only met one or two Orthodox people who became Messianic, and that was because they were so Kabbalistically inclined that they just mm -hmm. in some way absorbed Jesus into their theology. And uh, um, But the average are, are are completely secular Jews who, I mean, I think they're better off converted to Christianity because uh, now they have a, like a solid sense of ethics. It's essentially biblical ethics. You know, it's better than them remaining atheists. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, I've seen videos of Messianic synagogues in Jerusalem and stuff like that, and they're typically, you don't see girls with skirts, you don't see, I mean, they're typically, you know, girls who are in the army, guys who are in the army, who who just believe in Jesus. A lot of them also, there's a lot of Israelis that that are from Russian descent that lied to enter the country. So they were Christian to begin with. So you don't have to necessarily yeah. be a Middle Eastern or like, uh, well, Armenians are Middle Eastern, but uh, like an Arab Christian or a Coptic Christian in in order to, to live in the state of Israel. There's many Russians who are Christians who just moved there because the economy is better than Russia. Uh, and I would say that's the bulk of the Christians you're going to find in Israel. So um, when a Russian makes Aliyah, they don't ask him what he believes in. I mean, they'll ask him, mm. do you have a Jewish pedigree. Maybe they in some way fake the paperwork. A lot of them have uh, the proof of having a Jewish lineage and they let them in, but they don't ask them what they believe. The average Russian is is atheistical, especially if they came from in places that were communist, for example, like Poland and stuff like that. They were communist, but they were still deeply religious. While uh, in the actual Soviet Union, it was very difficult to at least be a Christian. It's interesting. It seems that Israeli Jews tolerate that type of Christian more than a Messianic Christian, because a Messianic Christian they would view as um, like it's deceptive, mm. while like your average one for Israel individual who doesn't wear a kippah, doesn't do everything, you know, but they just view him as a secular Jew, and they'll probably think, you know what, you're probably better doing this than being drunk uh, in 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 Tel Aviv or in Ben Yehuda, mm. right? And and I'm pretty sure that's how they see it. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. You mentioned one for Israel. Uh, they have a series, um, and I don't remember what it's called, but essentially, it's it's people who, you know, born and raised Jewish who uh, convert to Christianity, and they're kind of sitting in an armchair and talking directly to camera. And it, it, what you just said sort of plays out if if you watch enough of these, where the common theme is that, um, you know, maybe they went to shul you know, once a year, something like that. And, and there's, uh, you know, oftentimes kind of this, this negative association with orthodoxy. And, um, mm. and I, I just find it really interesting. Um, uh, my very yeah, well, They turn guest... it on and off, by the way, when they need it, like during a debate, for example, um, I've debated, there, 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 there's a Messianic rabbi, his name is Yitzhak Shapira, or Yitzhak Shapira. And then he's like, I grew up orthodox. I grew up nonsense, nonsense. The reason they say that is because until very recently in Israel, all the synagogues were Orthodox. So if you happen to go to your local synagogue with your grandmother or your uncle or something, it would have been an Orthodox synagogue. That doesn't mean they grew up Orthodox, mm. right? So they turn it on and off when they're debating an Orthodox Jew or for sure an American Orthodox Jew, because an Israeli Orthodox Jew will see right through them just because they're all Israeli and they're like, I know your type, but an American might be fooled. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, just... Uh... Yeah, I, I just think it's interesting, and and one for Israel in particular, like I said, it has this series where 
you know, you don't have to speculate on this. It's not, it's mm -hmm. not here. So you can literally watch the playlist of these videos. And that's the common theme is that, uh, you know, I'm Jewish and I became a believer in Jesus. And you listen to what yeah. they're saying. It's like, oh, well, you know, we went, we went to the synagogue once or twice a year and, you know, we weren't, uh, particularly spiritual, particularly religious. And then I found Jesus and suddenly, you know, now I have a connection to God and, and all of these things. And so, um, yeah, I just, uh, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a, it's a pattern you see. Mm. Um, 